Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Dr. Sunaina Bhatt. I am a pediatric ophthalmologist practicing in India and also a mother to two lovely young girls aged 10 and 8. I am talking to you today about uh, a problem that our children are facing which is probably increasing every day. We have started uh, functioning normally and uh, I see a lot of children coming in with eye strain, headache, children who earlier had normal vision now requiring to use glasses in order to see clearly. Well, most of this is happening because all these children are developing a condition called as simple myopia or school myopia also known as short sightedness. Basically what happens is in a normal eye the rays of light reach the nerve and we see clearly. In this condition the rays of light stop just before the nerve. This mainly is happening because the eyeball stretches more than normal or grows more than normal. Now even before this pandemic started, this there was an alarming increase in the number of children developing short sightedness which is being seen more, mostly in these Southeast Asian countries, Singapore, uh, Taiwan being one of the highest uh, where in Taiwan almost 70% of children are already wearing glasses because of short sightedness. Now this myopia, I mean already many studies were being conducted, we were trying to understand what is this increasing trend, why is this happening in our population and it was all predicted that by 2050 almost 50% 50 of us will be wearing glasses already. Now myopia is a condition where okay we cannot see clearly so the child has to wear glasses if you want to say so what but then this number goes on increasing as the child grows up and once the number increases more than 5 or 4 these children have got higher chance of developing other complications in the eye like the nerve problems, retina problems, retina detachment many other issues arise because of this increasing number of myopia. Now, okay, um, we are all coping with the pandemic. It has affected all of our lives and most of us have become, uh, well, slaves to the screen. Most of us adults also are spending a lot of time on our cell phones, on our laptops and so are our children. Well, I think they are probably the worst affected. Well, as we were studying why this myopia is increasing in our population, one of the main factors which had come forward already was the amount of near work that we were indulging in, the amount of screen time that our children were doing. In all these countries, what difference was found with the rest of the world was that their children were spending almost 30 to 40 percent more time on the screen or doing near work instead of physical work or being in an open environmental space. Well now with these restrictions it's very difficult for us to increase the uh, physical activity or sports or those kind of activities in our children but what we can do is try to restrict the amount of screen time that the children are uh, actually putting in a day. So most of the studies say that a screen time of more than 3 hours has got a very high risk factor for these children to develop eye strain and also short sightedness. Well studies have to go on yes but then we can try to restrict and also the smaller the screen the more the risk. So mobiles, tablets are more risky compared to laptops and desktops. It is better if you uh, connect the class to your television and make the child sit far away. Some of the precautions we can take, it is called as a 20-20-20 rule. Okay. So every 20 minutes you make the child take a break, look at something very far away, so say 20 feet uh, longer. Okay. Make your child sit next to a window. and ask the child to look out of the window for, uh, once in every 10 minutes or 20 minutes to give rest to the eye. Our normal 
uh, resting position of the eye is when we are looking straight ahead and when we are looking at something very uh, close to us and when we are writing or when we are reading that is when the muscles of the eye pull the eyeball much more and there is a strain on the eye and this in in turn increases the size of the eyeball which leads to this short sightedness so it is my sincere appeal to all of you parents and teachers let the studies go on let uh, learning go on but let us be safe from corona and also short sightedness thank you